What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is a catch-up video. I want you guys to know what's going on with me and keep you up to date with what's going on with the channel. So I've got some big news. I'm actually going on vacation. I'm going to drive up to Ohio Friday. That's a 700 mile drive. It's going to take me about 11 hours. I'm taking my family, my wife and my five kids up there. I got two family reunions to go to. So it's kind of crazy. I uh, coordinated with my cousins on both sides of my family and they both decided to have family reunions on the exact same day at the exact same time. So yeah, I'm going to be pretty screwed Saturday trying to navigate two family reunions, but I'm looking forward to uh, quite a few days of enjoying family and enjoying fun times. But I also want to talk to you guys about what I've been playing and what I've really been itching to get more into. As you guys can see, I've been playing Resident Evil VR. I actually beat the game last night and I'm going to do a review on it because it was so awesome. The actual video that you see is actually coming through the breakout box, so it's not really representative of the gameplay that I actually saw. It looks completely different uh, through the television screen than it did with me having the helmet on. There's so many good things to say about what Capcom did with this game. It's really revolutionary and groundbreaking in my opinion. Uh, initially, I, I got caught up in so many other games when the game first came out, and I decided um, a few days ago to sit down and play through it. And I've really, really enjoyed this experience. This is VR done right. It felt so natural. I never felt dizzy or uh, lost my equilibrium. It was just a hell of an experience playing it, shooting enemies, and just being scared out of my wits. As you guys have probably heard, Resident Evil 7 is a true return to form for the Resident Evil franchise. There's no punching rocks and super BSAA agents, but it was very engrossing. The story, the characters, you, you cared about them. And I love the twists and the turns of the story. It was just really amazing. And, and all the old tropes from the Resident Evil series are in this game. All the weapons and all the little things that make Resident Evil Resident Evil. They found a way to shoehorn them all in this game. And it was just really refreshing. Very fun. And I find myself looking for more VR experiences. I'm actually on PlayStation now looking for more games to buy. As a side note, please tell me you guys have been watching the UFC and Showtime live events. The world tour for Conor McGregor and Floyd Money Mayweather. My God, it's been so exciting to see these two finally get together and talk some shit. I think Conor McGregor is single-handedly killing boxing. Uh, they went to Toronto today and they did a live little show at Toronto where the guys got in each other's faces and talked some shit to each other. And everyone in Toronto was back in Conor McGregor. It was so, it was cringeworthy every time Mayweather spoke or anyone representing Mayweather. Conor McGregor bad talked uh, the representative from Showtime and called him a little pussy or a little bitch. It blew my mind. Uh, and it's, it's so entertaining to watch. I'm super excited for this fight. It's going to be August 26th. And uh, it'll be the biggest fight probably in history of boxing or MMA. It's going to be huge. I just love the way that Conor McGregor is so able to sell these things. Uh, and, and make them exciting to watch. And make it, make the build up to the actual fight so exciting. You know, Floyd Mayweather says the same thing every time he fights. And people have kind of, it's become redundant to hear it. And people are actually showing that now. So when you have someone as exciting as uh, Conor McGregor fighting Floyd Mayweather, they're going to stick with the exciting guy. And of course, Conor McGregor is an incredible fighter. If they're fighting in the octagon, it wouldn't last for maybe a minute or two. Uh, but in the boxing ring, everybody's uh, saying that Floyd Mayweather is going to win. He's 49-0. and 0. That's a hell of, a, of an accomplishment uh, for anyone in any type of fighting. And for him to have 49 wins and no losses is really a huge, huge record. And of course, he wants to end at 50. This is a big money fight. Conor McGregor, of course, lost in the UFC, I think, twice. And uh, he lost to Nate Diaz. And he came back and won the follow-up match against Diaz, which kind of uh, reclaimed his throne or made him appear to nullify that defeat. So this is a huge fight. I personally don't really like Floyd Mayweather. I, I've never really liked him. I don't like super-duper arrogant people and people who are only focused on money or who are overtly only focused on money and while he wins you know all his fights his fighting style has never really been exciting to me i've never seen I'm, he's never been roy jones or, or mike tyson or any of these other champions he he kind of you know throws that little arm up and ducks every punch and, and you know he sticks and moves and it's just not really exciting he wins a lot of fights by decision but conor mcgregor stops people and you know he really destroys people uh I don't know if Conor McGregor can win, but I really want him to. I want Conor, I want Conor McGregor to win. I think he's an exciting person. I think he's going places in this world. And I think he's going to really change the face of boxing and MMA single-handedly. You see Dana White's with the guy everywhere he goes. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that Conor McGregor can beat Floyd Mayweather? Do you think there's even a chance? Now, I know that I'm being extremely optimistic and generous with my imagination. 
when I say that I want Conor McGregor to outbox Floyd Mayweather. But the guy, you know, I hate rooting against Conor because so often he, he, he proves me wrong. You know, there's been many fights he's had, you know, over the last few years where I thought he would lose and he'd go out there and destroy people. I thought when he fought Jose Aldo, he was going to lose and he clipped him and, and won that fight in 13 seconds. So, you know, after so many wins and so many times of him kind of turning my initial projections upside down, I've kind of joined his team. At first, I didn't like him because, of you know, he was so arrogant, but it became so entertaining for me to watch that now I'm actually a, a Conor McGregor, a huge fan. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather, uh, are you playing VR? Because Resident Evil 7 for PlayStation VR is one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had. And I never felt like, put it this way, I went to work today and I told a friend that I felt like I was on a vacation for the last few days because I was, I physically felt like I was in a different place. And, and VR and Resident Evil kind of gave me that gift. It was really incredible. Now I'm on PlayStation Network looking for the next, the next fix. And I will be going on vacation. So I'll be gone for a few days. I won't be back till I believe Thursday of next week. So I'm going to be driving out of town hanging out with my family, going to two family reunions, and I just wanted to keep you guys aware of what's going on with the Beastly Gamer. Hope you guys have a great weekend. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, show support for my channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support my channel, do so at Patreon. There's a link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.